Hi, I'm Tierra Sawyers. I am a fourth grade teacher in the Gulfport School District, and I am here to discuss with you about life cycles. The essential question for this lesson is how do life cycles affect the growth and development of a plant and animal? The I can statement is, I can understand, compare, and contrast life cycles of plants and animals. Before we dive deep into the lesson, we are going to cover a few vocabulary words. The first word is organism. An organism is a living thing, such as a plant or animal. The second word is life cycle, the stages of change that an organism goes through during its life. The third word is reproduction. Reproduction is the process in which animals produce offspring or a likeness of itself. Now that we have covered a few vocabulary words, let's go ahead and look at a frog's life cycle. A mother frog lays eggs in or near water. The eggs are in large clumps. A tiny tadpole grows inside each egg. A few weeks later, the tadpole hatches. A tadpole lives in water and it breathes using gills. It uses its long tail to swim and moves like a fish. Tadpoles eat tiny water plants called algae. During the next few weeks, the tadpole grows legs and toes. The tadpole's gills grow smaller and the tadpole starts to grow lungs. It swims to the top of the water to breathe air. The tadpole starts to look more like a frog. It is called a froglet. The froglet's tail gets smaller and soon disappears. Now the frog is an adult. It leaves the water and lives mostly on land. It breathes using lungs. It eats insects, worms, and snails. The mother frog returns to the water to lay eggs for reproduction. Then the life cycle begins again. Now we are going to look at a diagram of a frog's life cycle. It begins with eggs. Those eggs hatches into tadpoles. Those tadpoles grow legs. And as they develop lungs, the tadpole changes into a froglet. The froglet will eventually lose its tail and change into an adult frog. Now that we've learned about a frog's life cycle, we're going to look at a butterfly's life cycle. Many insects, such as the monarch butterfly, go through four stages of growth. The egg, or unborn, stage is the first step in the life cycle and lasts four days. Insect eggs may be laid almost anywhere. Often they are laid on leaves or other food sources that the insects can eat after they hatch. After it hatches, the young insect's second stage is called a larva or caterpillar and looks like a worm. The larval stage, which lasts two weeks, is when most feeding is done before the larva makes a hard, shiny, green covering for itself in the third stage. For butterflies, this third stage is called a chrysalis, or pupa. Inside the covering, the pupa slowly changes. This stage takes 10 days. When the changes are complete, the adult insect or butterfly emerges with wings, living for only two to six weeks before it lays eggs for reproduction and dies. The entire life of a monarch butterfly lasts only a couple of months. Now we're going to look at a diagram of a butterfly's life cycle. The first stage is eggs. The second stage is larva, which is 
also a caterpillar. The third stage is pupa, which is also called chrysalis. And then the fourth stage is an adult butterfly. Now we're going to look into a plant's life cycle. Plants start as seeds. The seed starts food for the baby plant. When a plant seed starts to grow, it sprouts or germinates. The first thing to grow is the main root followed by the stem and the first leaf, which is called a seedling. Over time, the seedling grows into a plant. Some plants produce flowers and fruits, which contain seeds. When the plant dies, the seeds can be planted to reproduce new plants. So here, we are going to look at a diagram of a pumpkin plant's life cycle. The first stage is a seed. It starts off as a seed. The second stage is a seedling. The third stage is a mature plant. Then the fourth stage is a full grown pumpkin plant. Then the pumpkin plant dies and the life cycle starts all over again. Now that we have talked about the life cycles of a frog, butterfly, and plant, we are going to go ahead and compare and contrast two of those organisms. So I am going to go ahead and choose to compare a frog to a butterfly. So I'm going to write frog here. And in this one, I'm going to write butterfly. Now, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is compare them. We're going to look at what is similar about these two organisms. The first thing that I can think of is that they both have life cycles. And we've discussed already that every living thing has to go through a life cycle. The second thing that I can think of that is similar for a frog and a butterfly is that in the life cycle, their first stage starts with an egg. So, when I also think about frogs and butterflies, I also know that in their life cycles, they both go through major changes through their life cycles, and that is called metamorphosis. So they both go through met metamorphosis. which is also called changes. Now that we have compared the two organisms, we're gonna go ahead and contrast them as well. So, when I think about a frog, I know that a frog is called an amphibian. An amphibian spends some of its life on land and some of its life in water. Now, I know that a butterfly is not an amphibian, but it is an insect.
So that's one thing that is different about these two organisms. One is an amphibian and the other is an insect. Something else that is different about these two organisms is their second stage of their life cycle. So both of them start with an egg, but they hatch differently. So a frog hatches as a tadpole and a butterfly hatches as a caterpillar. Which is also called a larva. Then lastly, Something else that is different about a frog and a butterfly is a frog goes through five steps in its life cycle. And a butterfly goes through four steps in its life cycle. Now that we have compared and contrast a frog to a butterfly, we are going to go ahead and cover a couple of key facts from this lesson. If you don't remember anything else, Please remember that every living thing goes through a life cycle. Some organisms go through their life cycle quickly, like male drone ants that live for only three weeks. Other organisms have much longer life cycles, like some types of pine trees that can live for over 5,000 years. Also remember, all life cycles have a few things in common. They start with seeds, eggs, or live birth. The life cycles involve multiple steps, including reproduction, and then they end in death. The cycle repeats for millions of years. Thank you for tuning in to today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot.